like scroll you know facebook like feed you know um when you post on facebook you get to see the person who posted it and if it's an image it's going to come as an image if it's a video it's going to come as a video and if it's just a test it's going to come as a test so you can see it all over the place so we have the person who posted it and then we have like comment share you know things are you know super similar it's super similar on instagram similar on twitter and most other social media network that you find all over the place so i'm going to so i'm going to show you how to do it first i want to display this for you so you have this and then you have the test and then you have the image and then you have all of these things so I'm pretty sure that basically you would know how to do this. So when you, when I go back here, you would see what I did. I had first of all gone ahead to set up the database, and on the database side of things, I have the post, post type, image, user, video, created date, and modified date. Um, for the post type, it is type. It is not the most uh, interesting thing ever because it's not very necessary. It depends on how you collect the feedback from the article or the post from your user if your users have to you know choose a type via a radio button or maybe a drop down it is fine for you to use that but if your users can do things randomly then you don't really need a post type and for the post type if you look at the if you look at if you look at it here if you look at my data type and you see post you'll see that the post type is coming from a from an option set so i created an option set called post type and then we have video image and test that's how i'm doing it and then i then created a user user collection that ties to the post type so a, a user can have many posts and a post can have many user you know just like that the reason why i'm doing that is um so so that i can bring in the image the name of the user the image and the name of the user who made the post so I'm sure you can do that. If, you, if you're not familiar with Bubble yet, you can go ahead and take my Bubble Beginners course. It's free here on YouTube. You can go ahead and just click click and take it. And you know how to do all this you know, easy stuff. So now let's get to the meat of this. How do you make sure that if I, if I do not post a video, the video, there's no video there. If I do not post an image, there's no image there. And if I do not post a test, there's no test there. Two ways. You're gonna do it two ways. One of them is, so this is my video. So this is a repeating group here. Yeah? I'm pretty sure you know that already. This is a repeating group. Yeah, so this is a repeating group right there. I'm sure you, you're familiar with that already. So it's searching for post and it's bringing all the posts in there and then you can sort by created date, you know, like that. Super straightforward. And this is my test. So one way I'll do it before the second. So the first way will be to click on the test and then we say condition of visibility and then we'll say when current post type remember i'm using the type when current post type display is so we can say if it is post so if the current post type display is test so we can put it like that uh, is um when current post type is get an option so we just get an option post type and we say test. Yeah. Then uh, test display and yeah, that's fine. Then we want this to be visible. Then click on it too. I will set a condition again here, same condition. So we can, in fact, we can go back here and just copy this condition. Just copy the expression, come back here and just paste it, paste the expression. But this time we'll change it to, uh, we'll change it to image at all. And then come back here and we will paste the expression. This time we'll change it to video. We'll change it to video and that's what we're going to do. So if I go back here and refresh, you will see that it's, it's still going to be, it's still going to be here. So it's still going to be here. The reason why it's still going to be here is uh, pretty obvious because when we come back here, we click on appearance. We'll probably click on layout we didn't say collapse when hidden and we didn't say not visible on page load so the reason why we're doing this is that we'll collapse it so that it does not take extra space when it's hidden and secondly it's not visible on page load until it meets that particular condition yeah 
if it does not meet that condition it's not going to be vis visible but if you say visible on page load it's always going to be visible so also we'll go back to the other image we will do the same thing collapse when hidden not visible on page load go back here collapse when hidden not visible on page load so now that we've done that we've hidden all the stuff we'll come back we'll come back to our page and just reload we reload and as you can see we have this we have paul we have jennifer and we have this so these guys did not have um probably they don't have images and they don't have posts so that's why it's not there so you can see this guy has this lady has a test so it's showing this person does not have anything so that's why it's not showing so let's go back again so we can have this we'll click on this image we can see the image and we have our conditions let's see okay let's go back to our database and see what's happening so these are database all posts let's see what's happening so this post has a that's an image which is supposed to play okay this particular post has a test and this particular post has an image so all the posts has test and we're supposed to test on all the posts so um so i'm gonna click on this I'm gonna, I'm going to do this all over again so just do this all over again in case there's a mistake post type display is get an option post type image this is visible this is visible so let's go to the next one so okay so I think we didn't add this element is visible. So I think we didn't add this element is visible. So I think that's what's that's why. So let's do a refresh here and see what's happening. So you can see we're showing the, the we're showing the the video. So this is just the video right there. Then here we're showing just the test and we're showing just the image so but there's something wrong with this so what's wrong with this is that it only follows a post type which is so terrible it only follows a post type so now this guy has an image it has a video and who knows maybe he wants to add a test to the video and what if it doesn't work what if he wants to add a description so like when you post on twitter you want to add a test and then you want to add something like a media you want to add a test to it so that's the way i think you should do it allow everybody to add a test to everything allow the test to be empty yeah when you're doing when you're doing something if it like this allow the test to be empty allow everyone to have access to you know adding tests then allow them to be able to add video and images if they please so if i'm able to add images i won't be able to add a video if i'm able to add a video i won't be able to add an image so i think with that it's going to make more sense for you when you're collecting the information from that from them so you would say that your your test should display only when it's not empty so if a particular thing is empty then it's going to display so what we'll do is that we'll come back here and set the conditions again we'll come back here and set the conditions we will say when this particular post test is not empty it will be visible when this particular post image is not empty when this group post image when the image is not empty then it will be visible when the video is now empty then it will be visible when the video is not empty then it's going to be visible so with this you're only telling bubble to so you can see now okay with this let me finish the other statement with this you're only telling bubble to show a particular thing when it's now empty so now you can see we have a test and then we have a video we have a test and then we have a video we have a test and then we have an image we have test and then we have images and if you think that this is overflowing well you just have to come here and you click on the inner column I'll, you click on the inner column and just you know set it to fit height to content so if we come back here and just refresh you will see that um, there is no overflowing content anymore
So I hope you've learned something how to create a Facebook like feed with Bubble. So if you've not subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and subscribe. It is very cool for the algorithm. And if you're looking for a community where you would get access to all this type of tutorial and more, you should you should click on the link below. So I have this my, my community called Porno Code. Um I post premium video there every every uh, every two days for now so every two days i post one new video and you get access to my templates you get access to everything that i create that i'm currently creating for only ten dollars a month so you want to do that feel free to click on the link below and if you're looking for someone to work on your bubble project uh, i'll be available to work on a bubble project i think a couple of projects a month and you know if we're a good fit for each other definitely i'm gonna work on yours thank you very much for watching have yourself a beautiful bubble day ahead thank you